This um, bill, which this, sesh, this body passed last session, when it was then 1959, is about permit transparency, about when you apply for a permit in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania that you have a right to know where it is in the process. Just like when you buy a gift at Amazon, you can find out where it is in the delivery process. We owe that to the people of Pennsylvania who are seeking the permits, whether it's to open up a business or do a development or put an addition on their house or add a driveway or open a school. I think it's interesting that um, my good friend used the term onerous regulations. Imagine, imagine. State agencies are going to have to face onerous regulations. That's what we're talking about this week, about regulatory reform. Let me tell you a story about third parties, which have been vilified that, oh no, we have third party reviewers. Someone else is going to be looking at something who's not a government employee. Let me tell you about a street in my district. It's called Brentwater Road. And on one side of the road, there's a gentleman who went to Penn State to get his undergraduate and master's degree in engineering. On the other side of the road is another gentleman, also went to Penn State. Same years, they took classes together. Same license, same certifications, same classes, same exams, same qualifications. One of them works for PennDOT. One of them works for a private engineering company. There's, a, there's another street in my district. One side of the road, a gentleman who worked for 40 years at PennDOT. Now he works for a private engineering company. The same people, I have more state employees in my district probably than almost anybody with the exception of my friend from Harrisburg or maybe a couple of the other Cumberland County legislators. They're great, hard employees, but they aren't any more or less qualified than a private third party reviewer. The number, look, the number one safety issues that most of us face the number one certification and license and inspection that we have done every year is of your car. Who in this body, who, who, who takes their car to PennDOT to have it inspected? You go to a third party reviewer. PennDOT's already doing it with the bridges that we travel on. They're doing it with the roads. All, all PennDOT plans, almost all road plans are reviewed by third party. All we're saying is if the government of Pennsylvania cannot get the permits done in time, that they should be required to engage third party reviewers, which they're already doing. You're already doing it. When you have your child, a physical for your child to play sports in our public schools, you don't go to the State Department of Health and have their doctor do the physical, you go to your doctor. So this idea that, that third parties are some you know, this is, this is some, this is some, there's some conflict of interest, someone said. If I own an engineering company and, and I miss something in a plan review, not only do I get sued civilly, I probably lose my license, I probably could go to jail, I can be prosecuted criminally. The same inspector at DMP, DEP, if, he, if they miss something, are they, are they any more or less accountable? They probably don't lose their business. They may not even lose their job. So, this is common sense. Governor Wolf said in January that we need common sense per permit reform. There's a paralysis. All this is saying is you ought to know where you are in the process. This isn't controversial. And it actually is budget neutral in the sense that any fee that, you, that would be paid to the third party reviewer is being paid by the applicant anyway. And it's going to end the permit paralysis, and I heard a question about public input. There will be plenty of public input. There's transparency. Now you'll be able to go online and see what your neighbor's doing. Right now you can't do that. Now, there's transparency which will allow the applicant to know where it is in the process, but also for the rest of the community to know. So, Mr. Speaker, this is common sense. I, I urge my colleagues to vote for it, to give a little relief to those who invest in Pennsylvania. Thank you.